Hello, everybody. Um, so I'm sure you recognize this. Well, most of you should. Um, this is Rainbow Runner. Lots of people have done playthroughs of it. Uh, it's a pretty cool mini game type map. I'm gonna do a quick playthrough, but I'm gonna die so fast because I'm not good at this game. There you go, I'm dying. Which is not very pleasant. Um, so, anywho, this whole dying bit is bothering me. Hold on. There we go. I am no longer on fire. So, uh,. Rainbow Runner is very fun, and I quite enjoy it, um, but it is not random, which is cool, but I wanted to see whether I could create my own version uh, that was legitimately random. So I came up with CMYK, as you can see. Um, so this is CMYK version 1, basically. Um, so, CMYK because of the printer colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. I don't know why black is K, but it is. So, here you can see the mechanism. None of it's really working. Um, I mean, it works. All of the mechanisms work. It's just it gets stuck a lot. Um, because animals and stuff, it's just, it's not, not designed as well as I would have hoped. But it does work. It just has some issues. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to get the carts running. Um, and there's animals everywhere. Um, and a squid in the single block of water, which is really weird. Um, so, anyway. Uh, I'll just go in and show you. You see, it's really, it, see, as you can see, yellow stuff. Um, the cart is just on the first block there. So this gives you, unfortunately, it gives you less time than I would have hoped. I mean, it it, it works fine. It's just it, it becomes very difficult because you don't really have any time to see that they're coming. Um, and the mechanism is a piece of garbage. I mean, the mechanism works, but it's just it's not very organized. And uh, I'm having a hell of a time getting out of here. Um, okay. So... I just go over to that water pool and extinguish myself. So, the basic idea that the system is the same, that you have uh, torches that go up to the pistons, and then you have carts that go around and use these uh, detector rails to send signals up to the pistons to move. So that's how you get that sort of wave uh, deal. So, you've got the carts waiting here. And they are triggered by this little setup here, the signal. I'm actually going to turn on the display so you can see my uh, little pointer. Um, this, and then mine is legitimately random because this is a randomizer built by somebody on the voxel box. Um, I stole their idea. I don't. I'm sorry. I do not know who on the voxel box it was who designed it, but basically. This torch creates a circuit that goes, burns out the torch, and then it's random because, see, you can see there, it burns out. Um, it takes a random amount of time for the torch to relight itself. Um, and so, this, you can, there's a lot of junk going on here, but it's a lot easier to explain. As you can see over there, it's CMYK, but it looks a lot better. Um, that's because I went and rebuilt this like that, and it's it's all much more uh, organized and efficient and all of that sort of thing. Also, the sunset is gorgeous, um, and the moon is all shattered and really cool looking. Um, so anyway, let me just sleep so this is in the daytime, and then I can... Whoa. I don't know what the deal is there. Um, so anyway... So this is the finished version of CMYK. Uh, it is actually done. 
Um, though, some maintenance needs to be done, because sometimes it glitches, because this game is not perfect. But that's okay. So, let's go up here and push the cart back. Looks like the rest of them are working. Yep, the rest of them are working. Okay, so I'm going to change the fog distance so this runs a little faster. All right. So you can see we have the same setup, but I figured out, I realized that I was being stupid by wasting so much space. Oops, I didn't mess up the car. Alright, wasting so much space doing the sort of stack thing, and I could just do one layer like this, and then one layer like that, and get both of them. That way I can have the tracks on either side. So as you can see, it's the same setup. We've got the four, four tracks here. These are all actually the same length the tracks even though they don't look like it um, and basically the cart comes down around and they actually make it all the way across or should I'm not sure why that one is not because um, they have little speed boosts there um, so anyway this will be a lot easier to explain the randomizers so as you can see the same randomizers um, so there are Actually, I'm going to go up onto here so I can point down at these things. It's a lot easier when you see them from above. Um, but it's it's a pretty simple setup, actually. Um, like not not necessarily simple in design, but simple in in application. Once you sort of once I figure out how to build it, it wasn't so hard. Like this took me probably maybe an hour. Whoa. That was not good. Um, probably an hour less time to build than uh, the original CMYK because I didn't actually have to figure out how the mechanism was going to work. So anyway, um, going up here. Okay, so uh, up here we have the four um, the four randomizers, one for each color. So I believe they organized uh, sequentially, so this would be cyan, this would be magenta, this would be yellow, this would be black. They're the four going along like that. And then you can see behind them, uh, behind the minecart bays, there are right there, there is a, uh, a randomizer, there's a randomizer, there's a randomizer, and there's a randomizer. So there are four randomizers, one for each color, and then those are secondary randomizers back there. So as you can see, they, the secondary one is in between uh, cyan and magenta, so it triggers both cyan and magenta. So when that one goes off, both cyan and magenta go at once. Same with the middle one, both uh, magenta and yellow go at once, and then same with the last one. Um, so both black and yellow go at once. Uh, so that way, you have more possibilities for, uh, randomness than, uh, than, than just having the four. So I'm going to play through it a little bit, and, uh, just so you know, this will be available to download in the description. Um, this is all on the same map as Rainbow Runner, so if you couldn't find that, uh, you can do it now. Alright. So... Whoa, as you can see, three came there at once, which is... That's rare, but that happens. Whoa, see? Oh, I just, I just, just barely touched it there. Um... So, alright. See, this happens where there are big... It's not necessarily that they're broken, but they're... Whoa! Whoa. There are, um... Gaps between... Like, there they, they may be... Whoa! Gaps, um, when it, they come. Which actually makes it more surprising when they do come at you and you're not really paying attention. Um... And... There is no on-off mechanism. There's just this door that you get into um, because this is always random. So there's no real point in having an on-off because there's no sequence. So yeah, I would have died right there. Um, 
but because there's no finished sequence, um, there's no finished sequence, so uh, there's no reason to really have an on-off because it'll just keep going. So there's CMYK. Um, if you have any questions, post them about it, um, and you can download it in the description. Uh, I believe I should be able to do that. So anyway, until next time.